Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We are Rugby Hounds. Today we are bringing you an honest review of the recently released Rugby 20. By the end of the video, we will let you know if it's worth it or not. We have looked into the different areas of the game, such as rucking, tackling, and the general feel for the game, and identified where the game excels and where it falls slightly short. Overall, the game feels really fun to play, um, and we've enjoyed playing it so far. However, sometimes you can find yourself stuck in the opposition 22, and you can really struggle to find your way out of it. However many passes you do, or however many rucks you go into, it can be impossible to make your way through the opponent's defence. However, sometimes you can break your way through the opponent's defence, and when you do, you can score some incredible tries, like this one here from Sam James. We have found that goal kicking is one of the areas where Rugby 20 does let itself down. Um, it uses a very complex uh, system where you have to use your right analog stick and your thumb to direction the ball through the post. Um, at the same time, you need to make sure you've got enough power without going overpowered and missing the shot. However, as you can see in the video, even if you do go overpower, sometimes it goes through as shown here by Marcus Smith. Working on Rugby 20 is a great way to be able to compete for the ball. Although it can take a while to get used to at first, once you learn to use the extract button, the rucks go a lot quicker and they're very easy to execute. Attacking and ball in hand play is great fun on Rugby 20. Uh, you can use your back speeds to really make some good runs. Uh, the running plays can allow great attacking lines and gives you the ability to actually evade the defenders um, once you break through, which can lead to some incredible tries being scored, just like this one from Nathan Earl. The sidestep is probably one of the best ways you can evade tackles on Rugby 20, but as you can see, it is slightly overpowered. Kicking is a feature that we liked on Rugby 20. However, we struggled to master it early on in the game, as if you apply too much pressure, the kick may go short of touch or over the dead ball line and allow the opposition a chance for a counter-attacking play as shown here. Tackling is an area of the game where it really excels. Um, you can make some really big hits and it's really satisfying when you do. Um, and unlike other games, you can't rely on the CPU to make tackles for you. Um, so when players break the line and look sure to score and you make try saving tackles, it's really satisfying, just like this one. When gaps in the defence appear, you'll have to track down the opposition player and make a crucial tackle. And if the opposition get too close to the touchline, you'll even have the opportunity to bundle them into touch and win an attacking line out. Defending your own try line can be really difficult and uh, it can be quite easy for the opposition to cross past your defence and over for a try. Lineouts are an area of the game that we still haven't mastered completely and if you press the back of the lineout option, it often ends in the opposition player getting the ball. Scrummaging is very complicated on the game and will take a while to get used to. However, once you get used to it, uh, there's a few different levels and I think it'd be quite easy to understand. Uh, the only downside to the scrum is that it can go on for quite a while and it can take a while to get the ball back, so it will eat into the game. Set pieces are a great addition to Rugby 20, however they do slow the game down quite considerably and are quite hard to master. However, as you can see here, sometimes they can gain you an easy 20 to 30 yards on a play. A part of the game we both really like is offloading. Um, it can allow you to get the ball out quickly and also have players in support. However, it is quite realistic and you're not always going to get the yards moving forward. Um, but when you do, you can also move the ball out really quickly, um, have runs and support players in behind and make a lot of yards and it can sometimes lead to really good tries. Overall, we both really enjoyed playing Rugby 20 and we'll continue to do so and create some videos for you guys. However, the game is uh, let down in certain areas such as its poor online play and constant offsides. Overall, uh, we believe this game is worth its current price. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and comment below for any content you'd like to see. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.